And good evening, everybody. This is Michael Filigera. I am with LogicalSignals.com and also TradersHoppingTraders.com. And this is the Elliott Wave update for the S&P 500 for Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. The market did follow through to the upside today, and that did bring about some changes to the count where I felt that it had gotten high enough this afternoon that it negated further downside for right now. I mean, severe downside that was going to take it back below uh, 42.24, which is the, was the current low um, as we came on last night. So what I've done is made a little slight adjustment to the interior count for the C wave. So that would be C, minor wave C of intermediate wave four. And so I put those in place. So wave C now, one, two, three, four, and five. Very clean, all fits very nicely, completing wave C and then also intermediate wave four. So then we blasted right out of that level and with a very, very strong uh, bullish bar right off the lows, very strong bullish bar. And that basically happened yesterday and into the close, very strong bar. And I talked about it last night on the update. I won't go into reviewing all of that, but we did end up one, two, three, four, five. We ended up putting a five in. I'm going to label it right now as minor wave one of intermediate wave five with the decline first thing this morning as minor wave two. And the launch right off of that morning low today just really gave some additional confirmation. In fact, it made the low and it then zipped up uh, about 30, 40 points, um, right from the opening bell, bingo. And it just ran for the balance of the day. So in that respect, it, it wasn't the easiest trading, but it was very profitable trading because the moving averages just walked this thing up and eventually they, the even the 30 minute kind of joined the party, although it's not totally in alignment because all of these, the, the 50 and the 20 need to get above the 200. But if this continues as I anticipate it will, that's all gonna fall into place. The lower term time frame charts, the one, the two and the five were definitely in alignment and held there for the day, which kept you into long positions because that was the direction. So it did trend on our, uh, shorter time frame. So on the two, the five, the 15, and even in the 30, it was a, it was a trend. Um, so I'm not labeling this as minor three because I would expect this third wave of an intermediate wave five. So it's wave three of intermediate, minor wave three of intermediate wave five to subdivide. And what, what it really kind of shows me, we have the possibility that that is one of three A, B, C. We get a little bit, maybe a lower, maybe not. It, it could just blast from here. But if this is one and this is gonna be two, maybe we come down to this in, in Globex, maybe. Um, but I would expect this market to launch again tomorrow as it did today. And remember, here we are sitting in earnings. Some of the earnings did start to come out today. Some of the bigger companies are starting to report. Uh, the biggest one that I noticed today was Netflix, but you know we we have Microsoft coming up, we have Intel coming up. These are all members of the S and P. We have Amazon, we have Apple, we have Facebook, we have Google, all coming up uh, between the end of the week and next week. So there's so much energy that is built up and got built up as this market decided to just drift and and collapse yesterday, uh, based on you know, whatever the, the news sources wanted to tell you about the Delta variant, the market just bought it and the market went down and it went down big as people exited the market. And that was just nothing but a fourth wave. And it was a fourth wave and an intermediate degree. So going down 83 bucks in the, in the S&P, it fit perfectly into the wave that was in progress to the characteristics of the wave. It all really worked out very, very nicely. So, what we're looking for from here is for wave three to subdivide and to produce a three of three. So this could be one, and maybe we need a little bit more for a little bit more two. 
and then we get three of three, and that's launch, 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 launch. Remember, ultimately, we're looking to get above here. So what I want to now add <clears throat> is some Fibonacci. So I got to pull out to my daily so that I can take a look at this, because I'm now going to connect uh, where wave two started here to here. That before was just giving us the uh, Fibonacci retracements if indeed we were looking for a larger intermediate fourth wave. That I do not believe is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So first thing I'm gonna do is take off that one. And now I'm going to put the extensions on there, which will now revert and show us upside. And that's gonna be right there. That's where I want it, but I'm gonna put it up there to it. That's what I like to do it. And then wave four. I believe it's right there. Yep. Okay. So I'll come back down and I'll make my adjustments. Let me just make sure that this is uh, 3198. Okay. Let me come back down to my hourly chart and then I've got to just clean this up real quickly. So bear with me as I put this in place. 438450. 438450. Let's put that. Forest and my endpoint is actually right here at 4224, not 28, 4224. And this was, yes, correct. All right, so let's add those. And now you can see we don't even have the basic, we don't even have the minimum, minimum for this intermediate wave five. So let's start pulling this down. And now let's see how high that goes. Wow, look at that. So yesterday I, had, I, I alluded to that we should definitely get about 4,400. And again, it's all gonna depend on the structure, but this is telling us 4,500. Now, what's gonna get it there? Earnings. Let me tell you, there's the, the 618, which would be the most common. It's all the way up at almost 5,000. Am I looking for that? No, I would think that would be an outrageously blow the mind of everyone on the planet if they got up there. But hey, that's the potential. We're gonna to continue to count and just try to stay rational about all of this. So minor one, minor two. We just need to do five waves up of minor degree that need to make a new high. That's anything above 4,384. Anything above that gets us up into record territory. And if I can count on five, we'll be looking for a top. But I think we have an additional three or three type of a move. And that really should take us pretty far. So what I can add is one additional, and that would be from there to this little top of wave one the bottom of wave two, where can wave three end? You know, it's not looking like a whole lot right now, but when we're, we're back above 4350, 66, 87 would be a new high, but I think we should at least get up into here to complete the third. So I'll go to three or three and then a four and a five, maybe five gets up to here. And then we, re, we pull back again. And then the five will and should get us above. But again, that is just a very minor look at where wave three in its entirety, when it's related to wave one, will come in at 1.618 or above, much, much cleaner above 200% of wave one. And it just, it's gonna be the strength of whatever comes in. So these are just very, very minor sketches areas. We will have additional uh, levels that we can add as this move progresses. I'm going to take that off because it really doesn't reflect what I think reality is. Come on, remove the drawing. Okay, how about this? Remove the drawing, thank you. Okay, so for tomorrow, maybe a little bit of a pullback, we can get that overnight. 
And then the market should, again, we should see a strong up day again tomorrow. Now, if it doesn't, we'll deal with it because our alternate is that this is an, is an ABC, it's a three wave. And that would suggest if we start to break down and we break back below 4,279, mm -mm, upside's on hold for right now, and we've got more downside to do. And again, I'll be able, I will, once the market tells me what's going on, it's easy to fit it back in to what the overall larger picture is gonna be. That would also just suggest that this intermediate fourth wave is not over. And that it's an ABC and maybe that was just an A and this is a B and now we got to see way down. All possibilities. So I'm working on the upside first. I like the way this wave all came off, but B waves can be extremely deceptive and do that. And it fools you. Um, but I'm going to go with this for right now. Let's see what happens tomorrow. I'm, I am expecting stronger upside. We start getting strong downside and it breaks below there. Please, upside's off the table for a while. Trade what's in front of you. Make sure you, you're working with your moving averages. Again, 200 is still sitting down here. All of this needs to get above that 200 to put the hourly in alignment with the lower time frames, the 30, the 15, the 5, the 2, and the 1. So that's what, again, what we look for to, to give us strength in what's happening. Right? If this all gets in alignment and continues to push higher, it is the strength of the market that's doing it, and that puts more support in that this is the third wave. Okay, So this is all what I'm going to continue to put together in uh, the ebook, uh, which is detailing and describing Elliott Wave and Fibonacci and how we combine them and what it all means and what are the cautions, et cetera. So all of this will be included so that when we're all looking at it, <clears throat> excuse me, we come up with the same conclusion. You get to learn how to be your own guru. I'm going to leave it there. Hope everybody has a really great trading day tomorrow. And the next update will be Wednesday, the 21st.